Israel's recent attack on the Philistines had stirred up this mighty enemy against them. But now the people were in no shape to fight back. King Saul had made godless and arrogant decisions, leading Israel into confusion, distress, and fear, so that their eyes were not on the victory God could provide, but only on an enemy that outnumbered them by the thousands. Many of King Saul's armies had deserted him, and the few who remained lay hiding in caves, rocks, tombs, and cisterns. But among the faithless, there lived one courageous young man who would not submit to defeat. His name was Jonathan, and he was the king's own son. Jonathan knew that if God was for them, it didn't matter how many stood against them. He pointed to the top of the cliff as he spoke to his armor bearer. Let us go up ourselves against these dreaded Philistines. It may be that God will fight for us. The servant replied, do what you must do. I am with you, heart and soul. So the two began to make their way toward the enemy. As they paused at the opening of the narrow and treacherous canyon, Jonathan presented the plan. We must be sure that today is the day God will give Israel victory over the Philistines. We will cross over to the enemy and make our presence obvious to them. If they tell us that they will come down to where we are, then we will not go any further. But if they ask us to come up and join them, then this will be a sign that God will give us the victory. The Philistines watched as the two approached the clearing. Amused by the pitiful contest the situation presented, they called down to Jonathan and his companion. Come up here, we'd like to show you a thing or two. Despite the taunting voices of the Philistine guards and their obvious advantage, Jonathan and his armor bearer were not intimidated. Jonathan knew that God was with them. Come up after me, he called out to his armor bearer, for the Lord has given them into the hands of Israel. So the two made the treacherous journey up the jagged rock wall toward the Philistine bullies. When Jonathan and his loyal armor bearer reached the Philistines, they pulled out their swords and began to fight with the courage and determination of a thousand men. The Philistines were taken completely by surprise, and in no time at all, Jonathan and his armor bearer killed off 20 enemy guards. Panic spread quickly through the Philistine camps. Then God sent a mighty earthquake, which sent the enemy into such confusion, they ran every which way to escape the unseen enemy. They were so filled with terror, they began fighting anything that moved, including each other. Soon, King Saul and all the men of Israel came out from hiding and began to chase after them in battle. And it was on that day that the Lord saved Israel.